What's up everyone, it's me Tevin the Toy Guy, and happy Easter to all of you. And in today's video, this will be an Easter unboxing of my Misty Coupling Barbie. I bought, I want to say Saturday before last, at um, Bargain Hub for $16. And I've been looking for this doll for a reasonable price and ever since she came out. And last Saturday was the perfect opportunity for me to get her at a reasonable price. I found a lot of this stuff. I've been finding a lot of this stuff at um, Bargain Hunt lately. And the same day I bought her, I had found the one of the deluxe three pack outfit fashionistas for eleven dollars. That was the Kirby emoji shirt one that I've been on. Oh, she's gonna be tough to open. Oh man, she got those things on her head. Snap this off, snap, snap that off with the scissors, snip all this off. But here she is, and luckily, since she's a, what I call a grown folk Barbie doll, she come with a stand. In case of those of us wanting to display her on our dresser. And I really like that she's articulated. So that means I don't have to body swap her with a articulated body if I don't want to. I think that's pretty nice that Mattel is making more collector Barbie dolls with articulated bodies nowadays. Got to snip this and that. How about I'll snip her clothes or her hair? That'd be the worst thing that could happen. The reason I'm opening, I open her because her box is the this. I know I'm boring y'all with this um footage of nothing. But here she is out of the box. don't like these kind of legs because the legs are good quality but they feel cheaper than some but not cheaper than most but here she is I found it out of the box I may rebody her in the future because I don't like how the legs feel but her arms are not cheap in any way. It's just these retarded legs. And I really like her face. I like they gave gave her this little hair piece. Mm, why not rebody her? But I may dress her in my um my first Barbie ballerina outfit to see how she'll look in that. But here's the other uh, piece of her stand. And the certificate of authenticity of those you care for that. I know I'm throwing all the way because they be, they normally to get torn up. Ooh, this sand says 1997 Mattel Inc. How interesting is that? So this means this is one of the older Mattel stands. Just gonna snap this on the here. I wonder what this little red part goes to. Hope I'm not boring y'all with this um I figure this stand out later, but now I'm just gonna talk about the dog. No, I wasted some of you all time with this um 
blank video of me showing off everything. The articulated body is good quality, better than the old fashioned Nista's body. But if they made her legs a little more sturdy, it should have been worth the $30 that a lot of other people pay for her. But I only pay 16 for her at Bargain Hunt. And I rarely find these. I, this was the first, that was the first time I seen this doll anywhere. If not, maybe the second time. But that was the first time I remember seeing it. Uh-oh. If I want to get this off of her, I think I'm going to have to slide it off because there's no Velcro on the vet. And I think her feet is bigger than the average Barbie, so that's kind of bad news right there. But at least I gave her articulated wrist, but her ankles are not articulated. And you, I think you can tell from here. She's very detailed, but I'm going to have to find out how to put her on her stand because I don't know why they made this stand like this. I think she's supposed to be posing on her stand. This not the average Barbie stand because this goes up this way. Wait a minute, I think I got this now. Wait, how cool is that? She got the articulated upper dies that turn like the made the move dolls. How neat is that? I highly recommend this doll for those of you who's still interested in buying her. But if you can find her um cheaper than the regular price she is on Amazon, that's even better. And the reason I opened her today because her box is banged up, and if I um buy a Barbie, keep her in her box. The box is normally in better shape, but it had to be sixteen dollars. Even if the box was like this, it's still a pretty good deal on her. Anyway, but yeah, this is it for this um unboxing video. Thanks for um subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, and as always, great comment and or subscribe to my YouTube channel.